Let's visit a coral reef by Kimberly Brenneman. In warm, clear, salty ocean water, colorful fish dart and beautiful plants sway. Where are we? We are exploring a coral reef environment. Coral reef environments are home to many plants and animals. One kind of animal is the clownfish. Its bright colors and pattern are like a clown's colorful face paint. Let's explore. A collection of colorful clownfish. A clownfish is about the size of a person's hand. Why do you think these animals are called clownfish? Can you imagine a wall underwater? Can you imagine that this wall was made by tiny animals? It's true. Tiny animals called coral polyps create a coral reef. Look how large the reef wall is. The person swimming next to it looks very small. A coral reef is made up of many coral polyps. Groups of coral polyps are called colonies. Coral polyps are shaped like tiny tubes with tentacles at the top. They have soft bodies and hard skeletons. Coral colony, coral polyps up close. Some coral reefs are very large. How do you think a coral reef gets larger? When a coral polyp dies, its hard skeleton is left behind. The coral reef gets larger as more skeletons are left behind. The coral reef also grows when new coral polyps are made. Coral polyps create their coral reef home. Do you know any other animals that live in the coral reef? Hungry animals in the reef. Here is an animal swimming through the water and searching for a snack. It's a green turtle. Green turtles eat plants like seaweed and algae. Other sea turtles eat plants and animals like fish and crabs. Do you see this animal hiding in the reef? It's a moray eel. The eel could be hiding to surprise an octopus it wants to eat. It could be hiding from a big grouper. Hiding in the reef protects the eel from becoming another fish's dinner. Animal partners in the reef. Some animals help one another in the reef. Sea anemones help clownfish, and clownfish help sea anemones. Sea anemones are beautiful animals with swaying tentacles. The sea anemone stings most animals, but it does not harm the clownfish. When the clownfish is among the sea anemone tentacles, it's safe from animals that want to eat it. The clownfish help the sea anemone by eating its dead tentacles and keeping it clean. A grouper's mouth can have parasites. Parasites can harm the grouper and make it sick. A goby is a small fish that eats the parasites for food. The goby helps to protect the grouper from getting sick and the grouper parasites provide food for the goby. Goby fish help groupers from getting sick. Other coral reef plants and animals help people when they are sick. Let's find out more. Reefs help people. Plants and animals from the reef are used to make medicine for people. People eat fish such as groupers and other animals from the reef environment. The reefs are beautiful places for people to visit and enjoy. Problems in the coral reef. Coral reefs can be harmed in many ways. Storms with big waves can smash the coral reef. Storms can wash soil into the clear water. The soil changes the water. The water becomes dirty and the sun cannot shine through. A storm is coming. Why do you think dirty water is a problem for plants and animals in the coral reef? When the sun cannot shine through the dirty water, algae and plants do not get the sunlight they need to live. Animals that need to eat algae and plants will be harmed too. Coral does not grow. Storms are not the only problem in the coral reef. People do things that harm the coral reef. 
soil in the water. This water is dirty. What else is wrong with this picture? People can harm the coral reef. When people litter, garbage can wash into the water of the coral reef. Tires and other garbage do not belong in the coral reef. The garbage harms animals. People also damage the reef by stepping on it and by taking pieces of coral to keep. People can help the coral reef. When people throw away garbage properly, they are protecting the environment and coral reefs. If you are lucky enough to visit a coral reef, please treat it gently. Do not take pieces of coral or shells. Enjoy the beautiful coral reef by looking, not touching. People have created marine parks that protect the coral reef and teach people how to take care of it. The biggest marine park is called the Great Barrier Reef Park. It is near Australia. Maybe you will visit someday.